from uh, the library of our Pinot Noir. The bat. Bat. Oh my god, it's a bat. Yes. Oh my god. <laughs> it's like... <laughs> Oh my god, he's, uh, he's still here. Yeah. <laughs> the bat is the honor of the castle. <laughs> Italian Wine Podcast. Chin Chin with Italian Wine People. Welcome to a new installment of On the Road Edition, hosted by Stevie Kim. Today, Stevie visits Castello della Sala, Antinori's historic estate in Ficule, Umbria. She sits down with Massimiliano Pasquini, general manager and Orvieto born and bred, tasting and talking about white wine production in the region and the grapes that make Castello de la Sala's high quality modern wines. Hello, my name's Stevie and we are back, Italian Wine Podcast on the road edition through our sister channel, Mama Jumbo Shrimp. And today we are continuing our journey in Umbria. So I'm here with Massimiliano Pasquini, is that perfect, correct? Perfect, perfect, correct. Okay, and Your he, Italian is perfect. <laughs> yeah, sure. That's not what my husband says. Anyway, so I'm here with Massimiliano. He is the general manager for this winery, which is called Castello della Sala, and it's, it is part of the Antinori group. So, ciao Massimiliano. Ciao, ciao. come stai? So, Bene, bene. So thank you for um, having us. I know we just called you like a few hours ago. Hello, surprise. Hello, hello. You were It's expecting... a surprise for me, but it's a big pleasure for me. Yes, at the same time. great. So thank you for having us. And um, so tell us where we are exactly. Where is Castello della Sala located? Uh, Castello della Sala is located in uh, Ficulle. Ficulle is a small village. Ficulle. Ficulle, it's, it, yes. It sounds it, like kind of a joke. Uh, yes. It's a <laughs> Ficulle. Ficulle, Ficulle. It's a very small village, very close to Orvieto town, mm -hmm. because we stay in the land of Orvieto classical wine. And uh, Castello della Sala is uh, in uh, the part of the Orvieto classical in the north here, 18 kilometers far from Orvieto. 18 kilometers from here, yeah. right. Yes. So how uh, long has um, the group been involved in the Castello di Sala? Antinori bought uh, the Castello della Sala in the 1940 because uh, uh, Antinori wanted to produce, uh, want to make the white wine in a country where the white wine was famous in the world in the past, mm -hmm. the Orvieto Classico wine. And uh, they, they started immediately to produce uh, Orvieto Classico wine, but uh, after 27 uh, years probably, they tried to produce one of the best Orvieto Classico wines and to introduce the international grapes like Chardonnay. So Castello di Sala, how many wines um, does it produce? We produce the, how many six, labels? six labels. Six labels? labels yes, okay. six labels. We produce uh, San Giovanni della Sala, okay. our Orvieto Classico. We produce Muffato, the sweet wine. We produce Cervaro, Cervaro della Sala. We produce Bramito mm -hmm. and uh, Conte della Vipera wine because Castello Sala is an estate for white wine, but we produce just one red wine, the Pinot Noir de Castello della Sala. Okay, so today we're going to um, taste three of your wines, Yes, right? yes. So we're, we're We start with the San Giovanni della Sala, 2021. Yeah, that was the wine that was hanging up on, uh, hanging up in the tower. Yes, yeah. yes, yes. So we, we, we saw before the, you know, from the tower the small church. Right. The small church, because the, the, this small church inside the property is uh, the San Giovanni church. So is this the first wine that Castello di Sala produced? Uh, is the first wine, yes, okay. it's the first wine. Okay, so let's have a taste. Okay. So this is the current vintage um, yes, available the yes. in the market. In the market, yes. When do you release the wines? But what this is Orvieto Classico Superior. For this, it's necessary to introduce in the market uh, the, after the first March. Is it aging it? In no, not, not too much. Uh, uh, four months in bottle okay, before bottle the release. Okay, bottle aging yes, four yes. Do you ever think about going to like Stelvin or Screw Craps? Uh, 
Mm, for this wine, probably it's better to use the normal cork. Uh, and how many bottles are you producing of this uh, of, San Giovanni? Of San Giovanni, we produce more or less uh, 100,000 bottles in total. 100,000 bottles? Yes, yes. And what are the grapes that you The use? grapes, uh, we use 50% of Grechetto, the local grapes, 25% of Procanico, another local grape. We use 15% uh, of Viognier, Oh, and Viognier. Yes, Viognier, Viognier. But that's unusual, right? Yes, yes, yes. And the Viognier ripe very well in this area, in this country. Uh, and 10% of Pinot Blanc. We use Viognier to apport the aromatic notes. Mm -hmm. And we use the Pinot Blanc to have more long taste. This wine is crispy and uh, soft at the same time. You've been working here since? I started in Castello della Sala in 2008. I worked for Antinori from 2004. Right. Uh, for me... By the for way, a, you, you're like, you, you live... I live, area, I live right? in this area, yes. Um, I have in my blood the Orvieto wine. <laughs> right, right, so you know Orvieto very I know, well. I know Orvieto very well. For me, uh, Orvieto is a beautiful place to produce wine, in particular white wines. But do you think this is a typical Orvieto wine? But this is, this is this a, a style, a, it's like a this a style I think is a, a modern style of Orvieto. Uh, for this we introduce the Viognier in the blend. Uh, this is the style uh, for Antinori, it's Antinori style, but we have the ancient, the ancient roots in, the, in this area. But uh, we want to uh, apport our spirit, uh, our, our, our innovative spirit. So when you said, uh, you just said it's an Antinori style, what does that mean? The Antinori style. style. You said this is Antinori, Antinori style, style is uh, to produce wine not too, too powerful, not too, too muscular, but uh, wine uh, very elegant. Vertical, salty, but in perfect balance uh, with the aromatic part, acidity, and uh, body. So, um, listen, Massimiliano, has this wine, you've been working here, this is your, how many vintages have you done of San Giovanni? San Giovanni, we, we you started to produce San Giovanni in 2005. Okay. okay. But uh, Antinori produced Orvieto wines from a uh, from long period. Uh, uh, start to produce uh, immediately after both uh, the Castello della Sala estate in the 1940. So is this a wine, would you say it's kind of, you know, what Italians say, pronta beva? Yes. It's, yeah. it's pretty much, yes, yes, you drink uh, it now, Yes, you right? can drink now, after one year after the vintage, after the harvest, uh, and uh, you can drink after two or three years of aging bottle. Uh, but now, for me, uh, we have the, the best expression of, uh, of San Giovanni wine. Yeah, so after a couple of years, it, yes. doesn't, get, it doesn't improve with age, yeah. right? Uh, yes. So, uh, you know, all these years you've been making Orvieto, right? Because this is kind of heart of Orvieto, wine producing. So, has the style changed yeah. at all the past, past years? Yes, change the style because change the taste of the people in general in the world. And uh, I think now people prefer the crispy wine, uh, prefer the uh, acidity, uh, prefer the, the wine easy to drink, uh, but uh, with savory. More savory. More savory. So you're kind of fo following the market as well, in terms of the taste? In terms taste. of the taste for the wine like San Giovanni, probably is better to follow uh, the the taste of the, the market. Because it's it's a it's it's a everyday wine, right? Uh, yes, yes. Okay, very good. All right, let's taste the next wine. Next wine, we open our cru, Cervaro della Sala, 2020, the vintage. Mm -hmm. And do, would you say uh, this is kind of your signature wine? Yeah, yes. This is the 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 wine uh, where we have the best attention uh, during the production. Uh, we have the best attention in the vineyards for, uh, to make this wine. And uh, this wine uh, uh, was born in the 1986, 85, sorry, 85. 
And after a long time of experience, uh, now we, we have the Cervaro 2020. Okay. So let's taste the wine. Yes. This is the current vintage diesel. Okay. Because Cervaro is a blend between two grapes. We use Chardonnay and a little part of Grechetto, the local grapes. Chardonnay fermenting in, uh, in barrel and after the alcoholic fermentation made a malolactic fermentation. Grechetto fermenting just in stem steel tank without malolactic fermentation. So no malo. No yeah. malo, no malo. All of your wines is state grown? They're all grapes coming from this? Yes, yes, yes. We produce our wines just with our grapes. So can you repeat me the um, repeat to me the uh, percentage of Chardonnay? The, per, the, the Chardonnay in 2020 we used 88 percent of Chardonnay. So it's predominantly yes, Chardonnay. Chardonnay. Yes, and 12 percent of uh, Grechetto, because usually we use more Grechetto in a warm vintage because with the Grechetto we apport more acidity mm -hmm. because the Chardonnay have less acidity in the warm vintage. And uh, we use less Grechetto in the cool vintage because the Chardonnay have the acidity and it's not necessary what to apport. Like, give me a cool vintage. Cool vintage, for example, is 2014, 2019. Cool vintage is when uh, rain a lot, uh, when uh, the temperature in the summer is not too high. For us, it is uh, 2019, for example, 2014. 2018. The warm vintage is 2017. 2020 is very balanced vintage. It's not too warm, it's not too cool. Have you guys ever considered doing 100% Chardonnay? Uh, we, we, we try in the past to use 100% Chardonnay, but uh, we prefer to give some uh, terroir with Grechetto grapes because Grechetto, we think Grechetto is the grapes of this area and we respect this area mm -hmm. and we want uh, to give it local, local identity. Local, local, local identity, yes. And for the acidity yes. as well, the yes. extra yes. Yeah, but acidity. Yes, for this we use Grechetto. What was the, what was the best vintage of Celvaro? Uh, 2019 was very very good vintage for Cervaro wine. And the 1986. 1986, yes, <laughs> yes. No more wine. No, no more wine. No, yes, 1986 was another very good vintage. But uh, it's impossible to, to taste. It's impossible to drink because we have just 20 bottles. Mm -hmm. <laughs> how how long can Cervaro last? The the aging ca capability of Cervaro. Uh, Cervaro can age uh, for uh, a long time. The important is the storage of the bottle uh, because uh, in our cellar, in our old cellar, we have the bottle uh, of 1986 and uh, it's in perfect condition. Uh, usually Cervaro is, uh, is good, it's very, very good after five years from the, from the harvest. Five, six years, for my opinion. For my opinion. So do you think that is like the prime and it can age longer? Yes, age long. But it doesn't improve after that? No, okay. after five years can improve, yes. It can still improve? Yes. When is, how long can it age before it stops improving? Uh, after... You know when there is, when yes, they, yeah, they when tell they, you, yeah, drink yeah. now, drink later, wait, you know, five, whatever. I think uh, you can uh, drink uh, later after five or six years from the vintage, from the harvest. And that's a wrap. Tune in next time for part two of Stevie's visit to Castello della Sala. For more fascinating stories from the world of wine, go to italianwinepodcast.com or find us on SoundCloud, Jimalaya, Spotify, or wherever you get your pods. Don't forget to subscribe and like all our channels. Jean Jean, and thanks for listening.